Marcus Aurelius Stoic quotes, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. That quote is attributed to the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius. Here's an interpretation of its meaning. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is. This part encourages mindfulness and gratitude from the moment you wake up. It sets the tone for the day by recognizing the value of life itself. To be alive, simply being alive is a gift. Life is filled with potential and opportunities, and this acknowledgement fosters appreciation for existence. To breathe. Breathing is a fundamental aspect of life, often taken for granted. Recognizing this simple act promotes mindfulness and a sense of calm. To think. The ability to think is a powerful human capability. It allows for reflection, learning, decision-making, and the appreciation of complex ideas and emotions. To enjoy. Enjoyment and the ability to find joy in life's experiences are essential for well-being. This part encourages finding pleasure in the small and big moments alike. To love. Love is a fundamental human experience, enriching relationships and providing deep fulfillment. Acknowledging love emphasizes its importance in connecting with others and experiencing life fully. In Stoicism, this quote embodies the principles of gratitude, mindfulness, and the appreciation of the present moment. It encourages focusing on the positive aspects of life and recognizing the inherent value in everyday experiences. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote is also attributed to Marcus Aurelius and reflects a core Stoic principle. Here's a deeper look into its meaning. The happiness of your life. In Stoicism, happiness, or eudaimonia, is about achieving a state of well-being and fulfillment, not just temporary pleasure. It's about living in accordance with virtue and reason. Depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Stoics believe that our thoughts and perceptions are central to our experience of the world. It's not external events themselves that disturb us, but our judgments about them. Therefore, the quality of our thoughts, how rational, virtuous, and aligned with nature they are, directly impacts our happiness. Key points. Inner focus. Happiness is primarily determined by our internal state, rather than external circumstances. By cultivating positive, rational, and virtuous thoughts, we can maintain inner peace and contentment regardless of what happens around us. Mindfulness. Being aware of the nature of our thoughts and actively working to improve them is crucial. This involves self-reflection and correcting irrational or negative thinking patterns. Virtue and reason. Stoicism emphasizes living in accordance with virtue, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, and reason. Quality thoughts are those that reflect these values, leading to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Control. We have control over our thoughts and attitudes. By focusing on what we can control our thoughts and actions rather than what we can't external events, we can achieve greater happiness and tranquility. In essence, this quote encourages the cultivation of a positive rational mindset as the foundation for a happy and fulfilling life. Look well into thyself. There is a source of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. This quote, attributed to Marcus Aurelius, emphasizes the stoic belief in the inner strength and resources that every individual possesses. Here's an interpretation of its meaning. Look well into thyself. This encourages introspection and self-awareness. By examining our inner selves, our thoughts, emotions, and motivations, we can better understand and develop our inner resources. There is a source of strength. Stoicism teaches that true strength and resilience come from within. This inner strength is characterized by virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. This suggests that inner strength is always available to us, but we must actively seek and cultivate it through consistent self-reflection and mindfulness. Key points. Self-reliance. The quote emphasizes the stoic idea that we should rely on our inner resources rather than external circumstances for strength and resilience. Our true power lies within us. Consistent practice. The availability of this inner strength is contingent on regular introspection and mindfulness. By continually looking inward, we can tap into and nurture our inner reserves of strength. Resilience. Inner strength helps us face challenges and adversities with equanimity and composure. By understanding and harnessing this inner strength, we become more resilient in the face of life's difficulties. Virtue and character. Developing inner strength is closely tied to cultivating virtue and strong character. By aligning our actions and thoughts with stoic principles, 
we build a solid foundation of inner strength. In essence, this quote highlights the importance of self-examination and the consistent cultivation of inner strength as the keys to resilience and personal growth. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. This quote, often attributed to Marcus Aurelius, encapsulates several stoic principles related to contentment, gratitude, and mindfulness. Here's an interpretation of its meaning. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not. This part advises against longing for things we don't have. Such desires can lead to dissatisfaction and unhappiness, as they focus our attention on what's missing rather than what's present. Reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess. Instead, the quote encourages us to take stock of and appreciate the blessings we already have. By recognizing and valuing what we have, we can cultivate a sense of contentment. Thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. This perspective shift helps us understand the true value of our current blessings. Imagining life without them can increase our appreciation and gratitude for what we have. Key points. Contentment. Stoicism teaches that true happiness comes from wanting what we already have, rather than constantly chasing new desires. By focusing on our existing blessings, we can find contentment in the present. Gratitude. Gratitude is a central stoic virtue. By regularly reflecting on the positive aspects of our lives and feeling thankful for them, we can enhance our overall well-being and maintain a positive outlook. Mindfulness. This quote encourages mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware of our current circumstances. By appreciating the present moment, we can reduce anxiety about the future and regret about the past. Perspective. Imagining life without our current blessings helps us gain perspective and avoid taking things for granted. This exercise fosters a deeper appreciation for what we have. In essence, this quote advises against yearning for what we lack and instead encourages a focus on the blessings we already possess. By cultivating gratitude and contentment, we can achieve greater happiness and peace of mind. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. This quote, attributed to Marcus Aurelius, underscores the stoic value of independent thinking and the pursuit of reason and virtue over conforming to the majority. Here's a deeper look into its meaning. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority. This suggests that the purpose of life isn't to align with popular opinion or follow the crowd. Stoicism encourages individuals to think for themselves and make decisions based on their own principles and reason. But to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane, in this context, insane refers to those who act irrationally or unethically. The quote emphasizes the importance of maintaining one's integrity and rationality, even if it means standing apart from the majority. Key points. Independent thinking. Stoicism values the ability to think independently and not be swayed by the opinions of the majority. This principle encourages critical thinking and self-reliance. Reason and virtue. The stoic pursuit of reason and virtue is central to this quote. By focusing on rational and ethical behavior, one can avoid the irrationality and moral failings that may characterize the majority. Integrity. Maintaining personal integrity and adhering to one's values is more important than seeking social approval or popularity. True fulfillment comes from living in accordance with one's principles. Courage. It takes courage to stand apart from the crowd and uphold one's beliefs, especially when they are unpopular. This quote highlights the importance of this courage in living a virtuous life. In essence, this quote encourages individuals to prioritize rationality, virtue, and integrity over conformity. By doing so, one can avoid the pitfalls of irrational and unethical behavior, even if it means not being part of the majority. Here is a rule to remember in the future, when anything tempts you to feel bitter. Not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. Here is a rule to remember in the future. This introduces a practical piece of wisdom or guidance meant to be applied in everyday life, especially in challenging situations. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, this acknowledges that there will be times when we are tempted to feel negative emotions like bitterness or resentment in response to difficult circumstances. Not this is misfortune. The quote advises against viewing the challenging situation itself as a misfortune. Stoicism teaches that external events are neutral. It is our judgments about them that cause distress. But to bear this worthily is good fortune. Instead, the real measure of fortune lies in how we respond to adversity. Facing difficulties with dignity, 
resilience and virtue is considered a positive and fortunate outcome. Key points. Perception and judgment. Stoicism emphasizes that our perception of events shapes our experience. By reframing our perspective on adversity, we can transform potential misfortune into an opportunity for growth. Virtue and adversity. Bearing challenges with virtue, courage, wisdom, justice, and temperance is a hallmark of Stoic philosophy. It's seen as a true test of character and an opportunity to practice and strengthen these virtues. Emotional resilience. The quote encourages emotional resilience. By not succumbing to bitterness, we maintain control over our emotional state and respond to challenges constructively. Inner strength. True good fortune is found in the strength and integrity we demonstrate in the face of adversity. This internal strength is more valuable than external circumstances. In essence, this quote teaches that the way we handle difficulties defines our fortune. By responding to challenges with virtue and resilience, we can transform potential misfortunes into opportunities for personal growth and fulfillment. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny for what could more aptly fit your needs. This quote reflects the stoic acceptance of fate and the belief that everything happens for a reason, fitting into the larger design of one's life. Here's a deeper interpretation. Accept whatever comes to you. This encourages acceptance of life's events, whether they are perceived as good or bad. Stoicism teaches that resisting reality only leads to suffering, while acceptance brings peace. Woven in the pattern of your destiny, the metaphor of a woven pattern suggests that every event and circumstance is part of a larger, intricate design. This design or destiny is something that Stoics believe is guided by a rational and purposeful natural order. For what could more aptly fit your needs, this part of the quote implies that whatever happens is suited to your personal development and growth. The events in your life are not random, but are aligned with what you need to become a better and more virtuous person. Key points. Acceptance and tranquility. Accepting what comes your way helps maintain inner peace and tranquility. Stoicism teaches that by aligning our will with the natural order of things, we can avoid unnecessary distress and find contentment. Trust in the natural order. Stoics believe in a rational and purposeful universe. Trusting that events unfold according to this natural order can help us see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than misfortunes. Personal growth. The idea that events fit our needs suggests that every experience, even difficult ones, contributes to our personal development. By viewing challenges as essential parts of our journey, we can approach them with a constructive mindset. Resilience. This perspective fosters resilience. By accepting and working with whatever life presents, Rather than resisting or lamenting it, we become more adaptable and stronger in the face of adversity. In essence, this quote encourages embracing life's events as necessary parts of our journey, trusting that they contribute to our growth and fit into the larger pattern of our destiny. This acceptance leads to greater peace and resilience. You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. This quote emphasizes the stoic principle that our reactions to events are within our control and that we can choose not to be upset by them. Here's a deeper interpretation. You don't have to turn this into something. This part suggests that we have the power to decide how much importance or significance we assign to any given event or situation. It encourages us to avoid overreacting or blowing things out of proportion. It doesn't have to upset you. This emphasizes that our emotional responses are within our control. We have the ability to choose not to let events upset us, regardless of their nature. Key points. Control over reactions. Stoicism teaches that while we cannot control external events, we can control our reactions to them. By managing our perceptions and responses, we can maintain inner peace. Emotional regulation. This quote highlights the importance of emotional regulation. By recognizing that we don't have to be upset by things, we can cultivate a calm and composed mindset. Perspective. The quote encourages adopting a broader perspective. Many things that initially seem upsetting may not be as significant when viewed from a wider or more detached perspective. Resilience. Choosing not to be upset by events builds resilience. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater equanimity and strength. In essence, this quote encourages us to recognize our power over our emotional responses and to choose not to be disturbed by external events. By doing so, we can achieve greater emotional stability and resilience. To live a good life, we have the potential for it if we learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference. To live a good life, the stoic concept of a good life involves living virtuously in accordance with nature and achieving a state of inner peace and fulfillment. 
We have the potential for it. This suggests that everyone has the inherent ability to live a good life. The capability is within us, rooted in our rational nature and capacity for virtue. If we learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference, this emphasizes the stoic practice of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. We should focus on our own actions, choices, and attitudes. What makes a difference and remain indifferent to external events, other people's opinions, and outcomes beyond our control? What makes no difference? Key points. Focus on control. The quote encourages focusing on what we can control. Our thoughts, actions, and responses. By doing so, we can lead a more intentional and effective life. Indifference to externals. Stoicism teaches that external events, such as wealth, fame, or even health, are indifferent because they do not affect our moral character. Learning to be indifferent to these externals helps us maintain equanimity, inner peace. By not getting caught up in things that are beyond our control, we can achieve a sense of inner peace and stability. This helps us to remain calm and composed in the face of life's challenges. Virtue is the path to a good life. The quote aligns with the Stoic belief that living a good life is about cultivating virtue, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, rather than seeking external rewards or avoiding external losses. In essence, this quote teaches that we have the potential to live a good life by focusing on what we can control and being indifferent to what we cannot. This focus on virtue and rationality leads to true fulfillment and peace. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. This quote from Marcus Aurelius captures the stoic practice of memento mori, reflecting on mortality to live more meaningfully and virtuously. Here's a deeper interpretation. Think of yourself as dead. This suggests adopting the perspective that your life, as it has been lived up to now, is complete. This reflection helps create a sense of urgency and clarity about how to live the remaining part of your life. You have lived your life. This implies accepting and acknowledging the past, recognizing that what has happened cannot be changed. It emphasizes the importance of the present moment. Now take what's left and live it properly. This part urges us to make the most of the time we have left. It encourages living in accordance with our values and virtues, focusing on what truly matters. Key points. Memento mori. This stoic practice involves contemplating mortality to foster appreciation for life and prompt more deliberate and virtuous living. By remembering that life is finite, we are motivated to use our time wisely. Present focus. Accepting the past and focusing on the present moment allows us to make better choices and live more intentionally. It helps us avoid regrets and distractions, concentrating on what we can do now. Virtuous living. Living properly in a stoic sense means living in accordance with virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. It involves making ethical decisions and acting with integrity, urgency, and purpose. Viewing life as finite can instill a sense of urgency and purpose. It encourages us to prioritize what is truly important and meaningful, making the most of every moment. In essence, this quote encourages reflecting on our mortality to inspire us to live the remainder of our lives with purpose, virtue, and a focus on the present. By doing so, we can ensure that we live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Death smiles at us all, but all a man can do is smile back. This quote, often attributed to Marcus Aurelius or Lucius Aeneas Seneca, captures the stoic attitude towards mortality and the inevitability of death. Here's a deeper interpretation. Death smiles at us all. This imagery personifies death as something that affects everyone, regardless of status or circumstance. It's a reminder of the universal nature of mortality, but all a man can do is smile back. Despite the sobering reality of death, Stoicism teaches that our response to it matters. Smiling back symbolizes acceptance, resilience, and an unwavering spirit in the face of life's challenges. Key points. Acceptance of mortality. Stoicism encourages acceptance of the natural order, including the fact that death is a part of life. By acknowledging this reality, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for life itself. Resilience. Smiling back represents resilience and strength in adversity. Stoics believe in facing challenges with courage and equanimity, even when confronted with the inevitability of death. Living in the present, the quote underscores the Stoic emphasis on living in the present moment. By acknowledging death's presence without dwelling on it excessively, we can focus on making the most of our lives here and now. Inner peace. Bracing mortality can lead to inner peace and a sense of perspective. It can help us prioritize what truly matters and live with greater purpose and authenticity. In essence, 
This quote encapsulates the stoic philosophy of accepting life's realities, including death, with grace and resilience. It encourages us to face challenges with equanimity and to find meaning and fulfillment in the present moment. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. This quote, often attributed to Marcus Aurelius, speaks to the stoic principle of responding to adversity with virtue and integrity rather than seeking revenge or sinking to the level of those who wrong us. Here's a deeper interpretation. The best revenge. This suggests that when faced with harm or wrongdoing from others, the most effective response is not retaliation or vengeance, is not to be like your enemy. Instead of mirroring the negative behavior of those who wrong us, the quote advises maintaining one's moral character and virtue. Key points, virtue and integrity. Stoicism places a high value on virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. The quote encourages responding to adversity with these virtues intact, rather than compromising one's integrity in pursuit of revenge. Inner peace. Choosing not to be like one's enemy can lead to inner peace and emotional well-being. It allows us to rise above the desire for revenge and focus on living a virtuous life. Breaking the cycle. By refusing to stoop to the level of those who wrong us, we avoid perpetuating a cycle of harm and negativity. Instead, we contribute to a more positive and constructive environment. Empathy and understanding. The quote implies an understanding that people who behave harmfully often do so out of their own issues or ignorance. Responding with empathy and understanding while maintaining boundaries can lead to better outcomes than seeking revenge. In essence, this quote encourages responding to adversity with grace, virtue, and integrity rather than seeking revenge or becoming like those who wrong us. It reflects the stoic belief in the power of inner strength and moral character in navigating life's challenges. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought, for the human spirit is colored by such impressions. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought. This suggests that our habitual thoughts and mental focus shape our mindset and attitudes. Constantly thinking about certain things can influence how we perceive the world and ourselves. For the human spirit is colored by such impressions. The quote implies that our mental impressions, formed by our thoughts and experiences, leave a lasting impact on our inner world, our spirit or character. Key points. Mindset and character. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of cultivating a positive and virtuous mindset. This quote highlights that our habitual thoughts and mental patterns contribute significantly to our character and spirit. Awareness and mindfulness. Being aware of our thoughts and intentionally directing them toward positive, constructive, and virtuous ideas can lead to personal growth and a more resilient mindset. Impact of thought patterns. The quote suggests that dwelling on negative or harmful thoughts can shape our character in undesirable ways. Conversely, focusing on positive and virtuous thoughts can enhance our character and well-being. Self-reflection and improvement. Stoicism encourages self-reflection and the constant striving for improvement. By monitoring our thoughts and actively choosing constructive ones, we can steer our character and spirit in a positive direction. In essence, this quote reminds us of the power of our thoughts in shaping our character and outlook on life. It encourages mindfulness, self-awareness, and the cultivation of positive mental habits to foster personal growth and well-being. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote, attributed to Marcus Aurelius, encapsulates the stoic idea of turning obstacles into opportunities for growth and action. Here's a deeper interpretation. The impediment to action advances action. This suggests that obstacles and challenges can actually spur us into action. Instead of hindering progress, they can serve as catalysts for finding solutions and moving forward. What stands in the way becomes the way. This line reframes obstacles as paths to progress. Rather than being barriers to our goals, challenges can be seen as opportunities to learn, adapt, and overcome. Key points, resilience. Stoicism teaches resilience in the face of adversity. This quote emphasizes that setbacks and obstacles are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to greater achievement. Adaptability. The Stoic philosophy encourages adaptability and resourcefulness. When faced with challenges, we are urged to find creative solutions and navigate around or through obstacles. Mindset shift. The quote prompts a shift in mindset from seeing obstacles as purely negative to viewing them as integral parts of the journey towards success. It encourages a positive and proactive approach to challenges, turning weakness into strength. By embracing obstacles and using them to fuel action and growth, 
we can turn what might seem like weaknesses or setbacks into strengths and opportunities for improvement. In essence, this quote encourages us to view obstacles as stepping stones and catalysts for action and growth. It promotes a mindset of resilience, adaptability, and proactive problem-solving, key elements of Stoic philosophy. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote, often attributed to Marcus Aurelius, highlights the Stoic belief in the power of internal control and mindset. Here's a deeper interpretation. You have power over your mind. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is within our control, particularly our thoughts, attitudes, and responses to events, not outside events. This contrasts with the idea that external events, such as circumstances or other people's actions, are beyond our control. Stoicism teaches acceptance of external events while focusing on internal mastery. Realize this, and you will find strength. By recognizing and accepting our power over our own minds, we can cultivate inner strength, resilience, and peace of mind. Key points, internal control. Stoicism teaches that our thoughts and reactions are within our control, while external events are often beyond our influence. By focusing on what we can control, we can navigate life's challenges with greater effectiveness. Acceptance and resilience. Accepting the limitations of external events and focusing on internal control fosters resilience and emotional stability. Stoics aim to maintain a sense of calm and equanimity regardless of external circumstances. Mindset and perspective. The quote underscores the importance of mindset and perspective in shaping our experience of life. By adopting a mindset of internal control and focusing on what truly matters, we can find strength and peace. Self-mastery. Stoicism emphasizes self-mastery as a path to fulfillment and well-being. By mastering our thoughts and responses, we can cultivate virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance. In essence, this quote encourages us to focus on our internal state and mindset, recognizing our power over our own minds. By doing so, we can find strength, resilience, and inner peace even in the face of external challenges. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. This quote reflects the Stoic perspective on life and death, emphasizing the importance of living fully rather than being consumed by fear of death. Here's a deeper interpretation. It is not death that a man should fear. Stoicism teaches that death is a natural part of life and should not be feared excessively. Instead, it is seen as a transitional return to nature, but he should fear never beginning to live. The quote suggests that the real concern should be living a life devoid of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. Failing to embrace life fully is a greater tragedy than death itself. Key points, embracing life. Stoicism encourages living each day to the fullest, embracing experiences, relationships, and opportunities. The focus is on making the most of the present moment rather than dwelling on fears of the future or regrets of the past. Living with purpose. The quote emphasizes the importance of living with purpose and intention. Stoics believe in aligning one's actions and values with virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Overcoming fear. Stoicism teaches that excessive fear, especially fear of death, can hinder living a fulfilling life. By confronting and transcending fears, we can live more authentically and courageously. Carpe diem. This quote echoes the Stoic concept of carpe diem, or seizing the day. It encourages a proactive and engaged approach to life, making the most of every opportunity and experience. In essence, this quote reminds us that the true essence of life lies in living fully, authentically, and with purpose. By embracing life rather than fearing death, we can lead a more meaningful and fulfilling existence according to Stoic principles. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. This quote, often attributed to Marcus Aurelius, encapsulates the Stoic philosophy of maintaining equanimity and rationality in the face of uncertainty about the future. Here's a deeper interpretation. Never let the future disturb you. Stoicism encourages focusing on the present moment and not allowing worries or anxieties about the future to disrupt our inner peace. You will meet it if you have to. This implies a sense of readiness and acceptance. Stoics believe in facing whatever the future holds with courage and resilience, knowing that they have the capacity to deal with challenges as they arise. With the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present, this emphasizes the importance of reason and rationality in navigating both present and future circumstances.
Stoics rely on logical thinking, wisdom, and virtue to guide their actions and responses. Key points. Present focus. Stoicism teaches the value of focusing on the present moment, as it is the only aspect of time we can truly control. By staying grounded in the present, we can avoid unnecessary distress about the unknown future. Resilience and adaptability. The quote encourages resilience and adaptability in facing future challenges. Stoics believe in the power of reason and virtue to help them respond effectively to whatever life brings. Trust in reason. Stoics place great trust in reason as a guiding principle. By relying on rational thinking and wisdom, they can make sound decisions and maintain a balanced perspective, even in uncertain times. Embracing change. Stoicism acknowledges the inevitability of change and uncertainty. Rather than resisting or fearing the future, Stoics embrace it as a natural part of life's journey. In essence, this quote reminds us to stay grounded in reason and virtue, both in the present moment and as we face the uncertainties of the future. By cultivating resilience, adaptability, and a rational mindset, we can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and clarity, according to Stoic principles. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This quote encapsulates the Stoic belief that happiness is not dependent on external circumstances, but is largely determined by our internal mindset and attitudes. Here's a deeper interpretation. Very little is needed to make a happy life. Stoicism emphasizes simplicity and contentment. It suggests that true happiness does not require an abundance of material possessions or external achievements. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This highlights the importance of our thoughts and perspectives in shaping our experience of life. Stoics believe that cultivating a positive and virtuous mindset is key to leading a happy and fulfilling life. Key points. Internal happiness. Stoicism teaches that true happiness comes from within and is not reliant on external factors such as wealth, status, or possessions. By focusing on our internal state, we can find contentment regardless of external circumstances. Mindset and attitude. The quote underscores the power of our thoughts and attitudes in influencing our happiness. Cultivating gratitude, resilience, and a positive outlook can greatly enhance our overall well-being. Contentment and simplicity. Stoicism promotes the virtues of contentment and simplicity. By appreciating what we have and avoiding excessive desires, we can experience greater satisfaction and happiness in life. Self-reflection. The quote encourages self-reflection and introspection. By examining our way of thinking and making conscious choices about our attitudes and beliefs, we can enhance our happiness and fulfillment. In essence, this quote from Stoicism emphasizes the importance of cultivating an internal state of contentment, gratitude, and positive thinking to achieve a happy and fulfilling life. It reminds us that happiness is a mindset that can be developed and nurtured from within. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. This quote reflects a Stoic perspective on loss and change, highlighting the natural and inevitable nature of both. Here's a deeper interpretation. Loss is nothing else but change. This suggests that what we perceive as loss is simply a form of change. Stoicism teaches that everything in life is subject to change, and loss is a natural part of this process. Change is nature's delight. The quote implies that change is inherent in the natural order of things, and is therefore something to be accepted rather than resisted. Stoics believe in aligning oneself with nature and its cycles. Key points, acceptance of change. Stoicism encourages acceptance of the impermanence of life and the inevitability of change. Rather than resisting change or viewing loss as inherently negative, Stoics seek to understand and accept it as part of the natural order. Adaptability. Embracing change fosters adaptability and resilience. Stoics believe in responding to life's fluctuations with equanimity and a willingness to learn and grow from new experiences. Harmony with nature. The quote reflects the Stoic idea of living in harmony with nature. Change is seen as a natural and essential aspect of life, and embracing it can lead to greater peace of mind and alignment with the universe. Perspective shift by reframing loss as a form of change and recognizing its place in the broader context of life's rhythms, Stoics aim to cultivate a more balanced and accepting perspective. In essence, this quote from Stoicism encourages us to view loss and change as natural and inevitable parts of life. By embracing rather than resisting change, we can foster adaptability, resilience, and a deeper sense of harmony with the world around us. A man's true delight is to do the things he was made for. 
This quote reflects the stoic idea that fulfillment and happiness come from aligning one's actions and pursuits with one's natural abilities and purpose. Here's a deeper interpretation. A man's true delight. This suggests that genuine happiness and fulfillment come from within, rooted in activities and endeavors that resonate with one's innate nature and purpose, is to do the things he was made for. Stoicism emphasizes the concept of living in accordance with one's nature and fulfilling one's potential. This quote implies that true satisfaction comes from engaging in activities that align with one's natural talents, inclinations, and values. Key points, purpose and fulfillment. Stoicism teaches that living a fulfilling life involves discovering and pursuing one's purpose. This purpose is often connected to one's unique abilities, interests, and values. Alignment with nature. The quote reflects the stoic belief in living in harmony with nature, including one's own nature. By aligning our actions with our inherent qualities and strengths, we can experience a deeper sense of satisfaction and contentment. Self-reflection. Stoicism encourages self-reflection and introspection to understand oneself better. By identifying our strengths, passions, and values, we can focus on activities that bring us true delight and fulfillment. Authenticity. Living in accordance with one's nature and purpose fosters authenticity. When our actions align with who we truly are, we experience greater coherence and integrity in our lives. In essence, this quote from Stoicism highlights the importance of living authentically and purposefully. By engaging in activities that resonate with our inherent qualities and values, we can experience genuine delight and fulfillment in life. Thank you for watching. If you found inspiration in these words, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more wisdom and positivity. Share this video with someone who could use a bit of motivation today. Remember, the power to change your life lies within your thoughts and actions. Embrace the journey and find strength in every moment. See you in the next video. Thanks for being part of our community.